So, open your math magic book, Chap page number is 158, filling pot. So, can you see that there is one boy and one girl who, who is you know trying to fill up their bottle. Now, let us see what they are doing. So, the girl name is Nazim, Nazim and Abdul is the name of the boy had to fill their pots each with water. Both pots were equally big and heavy. So, they went to the tap again and again, filled their own bottles and poured water into the pots. Okay? Now, yes, Ronak, I can see the picture of the pot. Now, underline the line, underline that line, both pots were equally big and heavy, means the size of the pot, both they having is equal, the same quantity or same amount of water they can hold, ok. Now, Nazim had to fill her bottle 16 times from the tap, but Abdul had to fill his bottle only 8 times, only 8 times, ok. Nazim had to fill her bottle 16 times, I mean 60 time he, 16 times the girl has to fill up her bottle and then after that pour, to, you know that make the pot fill, her pot and that boy need to fill his bottle only 8 times to fill his own pot. So, why it is happened? Why it is happened? Now, can you see student in your book whatever the picture of their own water, own, own water bottle they have given you though that, that that's a different. Can you see the difference between Nazim water bottle and Abdul water bottle? Can you say, can you tell me yes or no? Can you see? Yes, very good Ishan. Abdul bottle is big and and yes and Nazim bottle is small. Very good Nasrin Sultana. Okay. Now, also see that the Nazim bottle is small in size and Abdul bottle is big, big in size and also it uh, that is mean, that is mean what? That is mean Nazim bottle can hold more water. So, as because that bottle can hold more water, that is why he need to fill up his bottle less time to fill up the pot. Okay, Abdul bottle is big. Now, the first question they asked you. Now, listen, if you want, you can write, you can do the math in your book by, you know, in your book, you can write with your pencil. If you think that your handwriting is not that much okay and it is big, then use your math copy. Okay, Op both the option I am given you, whichever, which one you prefer, just do. Why did Nazim go more times than Abdul? Now tell me that why both they have been. If I think, I can draw the pot very good. So, if I think this is the pot of Nazim, okay, and this is the pot of, I mean, the pot of Abdul. Now, they both having the equal means same size of pot, same size of pot. Then why Nazim need to go more time to fill up the uh, water bottle and why Abdul need less time? Yes, Nazim bottle is small. So, what is the answer we will write for our first question? That why did Nazim go more times than Abdul? Because Nazim's bottle is smaller 
in size write down in the copy student and smaller in size than ab dul then abdul then abdul's bottle okay so she had to go more number of times okay this is the answer that why nazim as because nazim's bottle is smaller in size than abdul's bottle so she she had to go more number of times okay for fill up the bottle okay is it done student then come to the next question nazim na, na, uh, nazim's bottle can hold twice half or three times as much water as abdul bottle so also you can see that na, naz, na, uh, i mean nazim bottle i mean nazim had to fill her bottle 16 times and abdul had to fill his bottle for eight times means 16 time i mean eight is the half of the 16 time isn't it so nazim water bottle is bottle can hold half of the water then half of the water of abdul bottle or twice means two times more or three times tell me ronak do the class so if i we think this is nazim water bottle and this is the water bottle of of abdul okay now nazim bottles takes to fill up this pot 16 times and it takes 8 times 8 times and it takes 16 times now tell me then nazim bottle can hold half of the isn't it because 16 and 18 8 is the half of the 16 that's why nazim's bottle can hold half half as much as water abdul's bottle because because i because already i told that abdul bottle is already you can see the bigger in size and also abdul need less time to fill up the bottle i mean fill up the pot and it is less time is how much less it's half okay now how many glasses now how many glasses this is the another uh, another question pot a and pot b so can you see the picture of pot a and pot b in your book they have given you there is a pot this is pot a this is pot b 
Now tell me which pot is big here? Which pot is big here? A pot or B pot? A pot, very good. That means which pot can hold more water? Which pot can hold more water? A, now very good. Now the, what they are saying? Pot B holds 11 glasses of water. Means inside this B pot, you can pour 11 glass, 11 glass water. Okay, but so pot A hold twice as much as water, twice as much water as much pot B means whatever, whatever the amount of water B pot can hold, A pot can hold two times, two times more than B pot means double of the B pot. So, if B pot can hold 11 glass of water, A pot can hold 22, very good because it's become twice. So, you have to be multiply with 2 and you will become 12 glass of water, okay. So, how many glasses of water are needed to fill pot A? So, already my students answer me that how many, how many? We need 11 into 2 equal to 22 glasses of, of water, is not it? 22 glasses of water we need to fill up the pot A, okay? Now say me that whatever we done today, is it clear for everybody? Is there anything, any doubt? Ask me the questions. Because this, those are the log logical, you know, logical maths. They will give you short, short stories and uh, we, we, from those stories, they will, you know, pick the questions. So, Tell me if it is not, then okay. Then on the next day, we will do the next page, and with this, we will complete our this chapter, okay.